Following my previous project and upload, I'll be sharing my complete workflow and breakdown process of how I achieve these final animations by using a combination of 3D animation, control net, and animate stiff inside Comfy UI. There were a few challenges along the way, and I'll go over the solutions I used to overcome these problems. The first breakdown was to achieve the character animation. To do this, I used the online platform Mixamo to animate a 3D character running. I also changed the settings a bit from the default running action to make it a little bit exaggerated. From here, I imported the character into Cinema 4D as my 3D application. I changed the workspace to animate. I duplicated the keyframes in the timeline to extend the length of the animation since this was too short. So I repeated this until it was 15 seconds long. To start the environmental scene, I created a plane to represent a street to have the character running. I scaled this on the width to make this long and I worked with a few models that I duplicated to create a skyscraper from the free asset folder. So my idea was to use tall buildings to develop a busy street scene. So how did I animate this? Instead of animating the camera, I placed the buildings into a group and applied a keyframe to move from left to right. And this was the animated illusion. From here, I used basic sphere shapes in the background to represent mountains to give the scene a sense of perspective. The tunnels were all created by using a shape tube object which I modified the inner and outer radius and scaled this up to fit the street. I repeated this many times to appear in the scene. Next, I included a few car models and side elements to still spice up the appearance of a busy street. So creating the environment wasn't anything special. I used a lot of duplicates of the same models. So let's move on to adding the chasing car. I initially began with the aim of simply having the character run. The results were great, but the story was not too convincing enough. So um, I got a track model from the Cinema 4D free assets again to influence the story. I planned for the track to be driven by monster heads to make it a bit scary, but Animate Diff was not producing the results to be too great, so I got them deleted. I replaced this with an ordinary plane shape where I scaled the width and the height to act as a normal windscreen. The final outcome, putting everything together, got me this as the 3D animation to use in Animate Diff. Moving inside of Comfy UI, this was the final and the simple workflow I used. You can find this in my previous video to video tutorial and I have explained how to build this workflow step by step as well. I will start with the control net group. Using the load video node, I imported the 3D animation here. Then I used the depth control net processor for more freedom for the final results. Also, I kept the weight and the strength down to 0.7 and the weight of the control net. I'm uh, moving down to the text to image group. I settled on using Hello Young 25D after many attempts with different models. I was curious to try the Photon LCM checkpoint. The results went horribly wrong, but I was sure the settings were not in line with the LCM setup. I will still have to give the Photon LCM a chance in my future videos. Moving to the right is the Load LoRa node. I used two LoRa's here. The first was the More Details LoRa for additional details and secondly Animate LCM LoRa since we are using the LCM scheduler for faster rendering times. Inside the positive prompt, I describe multiple scenes related to the 3D animation story. So this gives you the advantage to play around with as many prompt ideas considering you using just a single 3D animation from the 3D software. Zooming out and scrolling up is the Animate Div group plus the LCM scheduler. In here, I kept everything at default by using the Animate Div and the LCM workflow. From here, everything was connected to the advanced control net node and back into the sampler custom node. Zooming in here for a higher resolution, I changed the frame size to 1344 by 768. So scrolling to the right and after multiple failures and trying different scenes, I decided to keep this. However, the resolution was still quite low. I wanted to have this in a 4K upload to put this on YouTube. So I made use of the Topaz Video AI program to drag and drop the low frame size into the Topaz software. To upscale this, I'll change this to 4K. There are two versions here for 4K resolutions, but I do not want the file size too large. So I'll go for the option below here. Change the frame rate to 60 frames per second. This will make the animation more smoother but this may depend on every project. I'll scroll down, close down the frame interpolation. For the enhancement settings, I'll reveal how to get the best results from using the software. In here, I'll change this to manual, I'll change this to 100 and also 100. I'll push this down to sharpen this to 10%. 
10, bring this to 30, and push the anti blur to 100. I'll scroll down to change the decoder to use the H264 format, and down here I'll keep this to MP4. Click on export as to start the upscale process. I'll zoom in some more here and let's compare the before and after frames. Check out how much cleaner the video looks from the initial generation. Like just by taking this from a low resolution all the way to a 4K resolution size. After this is finished, to view the results, click here to open or show in the Explorer. So this is my 4K resolution and isn't this amazing and impressive? By changing the frame rate, Topaz gives the animation an additional smooth outcome as well. So if you guys are excited to use this by using the link in the description, you can visit the webpage here, Video AI. This is a one-time investment which is the most valuable part for all your AI animations. I believe AI needs a lot of patience in this early era, but with some time invested, you will always get something pleasing to your visual intention. And this video here reveals and explains a lot more detailed process about how 3D and AI rendering can help you achieve outstanding results. Smash the thumbs up as always, and I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video.